Hey, welcome in this, to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be covering installation of both server and client um, TeamSpeak 3 on a Linux platform. So I'm going to actually switch my workspace uh, to uh, this. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is first download both the server and the client. Uh, I'm going to close out of my client. Disconnected. And shut down my server. Okay, there we go. And that's not important. Anyways, so once you're done downloading, I'm going to have you open up a new terminal window, which right there. There we go. Once you have a new terminal window open, uh, just click and drag the run file. Hit enter. Hit enter one more time. Um, hit the Q key once you're done reading all this nice stuff. Type in yes. If you agree, and if you don't agree, hit, type in no, and the program will cancel and won't install. Well, actually, uncompress. Once it uncompresses, type in exit. Terminal window closes. Uh, it's installed to one, if you go up one level, or right here, this is where it's installed. Um, double click on client, and run the run script. Run in terminal. If the um, run in terminal feature is not available, and it just opens a text editor, go to permissions. Execute allow executing files program. Make sure that's checked. Okay, now terminal opens. Team Sleep client last update was July 27th. Yada, yada, yada. Minimize that. So now we're all set. Um, note you'll probably have the setup wizard. I'm not going to go through this one more time. It's getting old for me. Uh, first thing I'm going to have you do though is go to settings, options. And make sure um, under Applications, Advanced Permission Systems is enabled, so you'll be able to follow my other tutorials. Um, if you don't have it enabled, uh, uh, I'll have to be connected to a server to show you what, what will happen. So let's get the server going. So, um, extract the server um, from your downloads, so it'll hopefully um, it'll extract your downloads. I moved mine up one level you, just by going right-click Cut. And then I paste it here. Um, so it should look like this. Minus this folder here. Let's move that to trash. So there you go. Starting up the server for the first time. Run terminal. The um, MySQL. Uh, or not MySQL. The um, SQLite DB database will appear. Um, if you want to use MySQLite, you'll have to read the um, documents on how to set that up. I haven't really played with that at all. Anything marked important is important, obviously, so right-click, copy this, open this up, and I'm just going to paste over this. As you can see, I've already created a server in Linux, so I'm going to, I would save this file, save as, and this would be the query login, which is very important. Um, and then I'll copy this token, and then I'll um, open up my... TeamSpeak server, or not TeamSpeak server, TeamSpeak client, connect to localhost. Um, this will automatically connect you to um, whatever your local IP is, which Connected. is easy. Okay. Now we're all set. Now the permissions thing. Um, if, yours does, if yours looks like this, make sure you go back and enable the setting I told you. Otherwise, it look, should look like this, which is like all my other tutorials. Um... That basically covers everything. Um, hopefully in my next tutorial I'll have this program, um, my TeamSpeak 3 server utility, up and working, um, which will allow us to uh, create servers, manage your servers uh, remotely. As you can see, it's working, but there are still a bunch of bugs that I want to get out. Once I have a stable release, which is probably by the end of the week, I should have it uploaded to uh, TeamSpeak. Adam's website and I'll be able to have you download it. This has been another tutorial by Freefall. Um, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of your questions. I have been uh, focusing more on playing around with Linux OS and writing Java programs. So hopefully I'll get back to the TeamSpeak tutorials now that we have out of the betas and they keep changing all the stuff that I'm showing you. So, yeah.